Hey guys. Hello. So, if you clearly couldn't tell, this is pretty much our first video. Yeah. You know, setting the fact that we're filming off of a phone. Yeah. And the fact that we have no idea how camera angles work. <laughs> um, but we started this channel because we've had a lot of paranormal experiences in what was it just this last year yes it started in the summer didn't it yeah like right before summer started yeah um let me rephrase that this school year yeah the school year no so this is the 2022-2020 2023 getting close to 2024 yeah this is the 23 24 school year so this started all last school year then yes the 22 23 school year yeah and you know we just thought we would share these experiences and maybe try a method of communicating with some spirits yes so i'm rachel i'm grace and uh welcome to our first video <laughs> yes so this is just going to be mostly us talking because yes. we have no way to do edits n basic like i said we're filming off a phone it's our first video we have no idea what we're doing bear with us please However, once we, like, get the hang of this, we're gonna go to, like, places that have paranormal investigations that we can go to and stuff to get more experience. Also, once we're a little older. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She'll be turning 18 in sep- not September, February. February. She'll be turning 18 in February, and I'll be turning 16 in May. Um... So once we're a little older, we'll start doing actual paranormal investigations. But for now, we'll start here in my bedroom. Yes. So our first story starts... At my house. At your house. And we were watching Sam and Colby, which if you don't know Sam and Colby, then... Go watch them. Go watch them. <laughs> they are... Probably some of the most, if not the most, famous paranormal investigators on YouTube. Yes. And so we were watching Sam and Colby while I was over at her house for a sleepover. And all of a sudden, uh, was it you who was going downstairs? I think so. I and think it was you. I noticed that, uh, so we have a gate leading upstairs to where we were watching Sam and Colby. I was walking down the stairs to go, like, get a drink or something, and I noticed that the gate was open, which I found strange because it was 100% closed, and we were just sitting up there. Uh-huh. Like, we didn't hear the gate open. The gate is used to keep her dogs, dogs from getting up to the area we were in at her house, and... I think I was the last one up there, wasn't I? Yes. Or was it your brother? Was it you? Was it me or James? I'm pretty sure it was you. And I shut the gate. Like, you can hear when that gate closes. Yes, it's like loud. You know that when it closed. When you open it, it's like not as loud. But we all heard it slam shut. Yes. And um, so she told me that the gate was open and I was like, I'm sorry, what? So I paused our Sam and Colby video we were watching. We were either watching the Velisca Axe Murder House or the one with, um, there was one with Tommy Ednett. I'm pretty it, sure it was the Tommy Ednett one. I think it was him. Um, it was like an old hotel. In Savannah, Georgia. In Savannah, yeah. And so we were watching that one. And so I paused it when she told me that the gate was open, and I was like, when I saw that it was open, I was obviously shocked and confused because, like, I had closed the gate. Yes. And we didn't think much of it, 
that one time. And we went back to, like, doing what we were doing. Uh-huh. Except for the fact that that gate opened at least four more times that night. Yes. Not to mention, uh, I was locked out of my room. Yep. We were- I don't remember- I'm pretty sure we were getting your stuff so that we could leave to drop you back off at your house. Yeah, and you said, imagine if the spirit just locked me out of my room. And then it happened. Yeah. Um, I remember shutting the door to her room because she likes to keep her door closed. Yes. And she has a rabbit in there. So for any of you who may think, oh, if it's... Rachel was the last one out, then Rachel probably locked it. No, no. there is a live animal in there. Yeah. We would not do close the door and lock it on purpose because animal safety on the line here. Uh-huh. So... I was the one who shut her door because I was the last one out. And was I at your house when you realized the door was locked? Yes. Like, I was trying to, like, head into my room to, like, quickly grab something. And I tried the door and it was not. Yeah. So that was really creepy. And then, so that's how it all started. Yes. Then we went to my friend's house for Memorial Day. They have a pool, and Grace and I, we were swimming in this pool. Yes. It's an above ground, it's only about mm, four to five feet deep, I think, maybe four and a half. Yeah. It's not very deep, and um, I remember we were doing, like, underwater tricks and stuff. We were playing that one question game in the pool. Where, where... you, like, ask questions, and then you dunk the other person when you get get the question wrong yeah and multiple times while grace and i were in that pool something tried to something held us under the water like they were trying to drown us yeah and some of the times when it happened to her i was looking away and i remember i didn't hear her come up and it it, it didn't take very long don't worry obviously yes. obviously yes. we're still alive yes so i would look behind me because Grace is one of the people who comes up immediately after getting dunked, if she can, or going underwater. And so I was very particularly confused. So I turn around, and I just see her flailing under the water, and I freaked out. I, 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 obviously, I swam as fast as I could to help her get up, but, like, I flipped. So... That Something happened. was literally holding me down there. I was flailing to try to, like, get out, to, mm -hmm. to get up, to get air, but... I'm one of the people who loves going under the water. Like, if I have a pair of goggles, I'm set. I love going underneath the water. I love, um, like, diving down to get dive toys and stuff. Um, yeah, something I... Mm, uh, two or three times I felt something holding onto my leg and I couldn't get up out of the water. Like I said, this pool isn't very deep. Yeah. Something was holding us in because if Grace stands up, she's tall. I'm tall. I'm 5'2". So, like, we could very easily stand in these pools. Yes. What are you, 5'9"? Yeah, 5'9". 5'9", 5'2". Um... Like, we could very easily stand in this pool. For something to be holding us down... <sighs> and... I don't think we had a sleepover between Memorial Day and 4th of July. But you can we went back to that place for 4th of July because I... It's a family friend. He's, like, the, the husband and wife that um, host us every year. Um, they're, like, my aunt and my uncle, and, um, I had started bringing Grace because pool, food. Wanting, to, food, wanting to spend time with her because I haven't seen, we don't see each other very often unless we're doing theater together. Yes. And, um, so, we went back there a few days later for 4th of July. Yes. Because, obviously, she told me that every time I go over there for a holiday, to tell her, because she loves going over there with me. Yes. 
we were almost drowned again multiple times multiple times i will admit a few times once or twice i we were something tried to drown us at least 10 times yes once or twice i barely pressed down on her shoulders i i will admit that now yeah i would not try to drown one of my best friends ever like ever i like i barely pressed down on her shoulders and then she started flailing and i was like what the what the heck pardon pardon me um and so yeah we've had a yeah. couple de- near death experiences with spirits yes and before you guys go all like oh my gosh they're fake they tried to drown each other some of the times this happened we weren't even near each other yes like we were on opposite ends of the pool and still it happened uh-huh like and my little sister was in the pool with us so obviously i would not fake something like that in front of my little sister yes like that's not something i'm gonna do so the next paranormal experience we had was at another i think it was at your house yes we once again we were watching sam and colby which we have learned kind of activates the spirits for us. Yes. For some reason, once we start watching Sam and Colby, the spirits like to be active. Yes. It started again with the whole gate opening and closing thing. But this time the lights wouldn't turn on. Yes. That I think that was also the sleepover where I had you watch your first horror movie. Yes. So that wasn't fun for Grace. It wasn't. I'm one of the ones who absolutely adore horror movies. I don't get night I don't get nightmares from them. Like, I just think they're fun to watch. They scare me in the moment sometimes. But I'm not all that scared of them. She was terrified. Yes. And well, And like I know that you, what you guys will be saying, like, come on, you watch realistic things like Sam and Colby. Why are you terrified of horror movies? Listen, I feel safer with, like, real things happening and, like, things like that, but, like, horror movies and stuff, I don't really know why, but, like, I feel like there's a potential that it could happen. Yeah. And the thought of that freaks me out, and that thought gives me nightmares. Yeah. So, we were watching the first Annabelle movie. The one all about um, this couple with their baby, Leah. Um, that one. If you guys have seen that, let us know. Yes. Um, family drama. <laughs> um, but, so we were watching Annabelle. And I have one, two, three, four antique dolls in my bedroom three on a shelf over there one on a shelf over here you can't see them yeah um and i have one more doll on a shelf in here i'm not scared of them i like collecting them because um hoarding runs in my family i have lots of stuffed animals too okay don't judge me um but we were so we were watching the sam and colby video the lights wouldn't turn on the gate kept opening again her brother saw saw a shadow figure yes on the staircase yes that was the first time we tried communicating with spirits Yes. We decided enough's enough. Let's talk. Yes. We came into contact with... Silvano. Silvano, that's who it was. Yes. That was his name. He was a human spirit. 
who claimed he was trying to protect us. And, and that he dr- drowned by, like, wasn't it, like, a river right outside, like... Don't you have a, like, a lake or a like, pond? Like, lake or pond, and, like, he said that he died by drowning. Yeah. She has a lake or pond near her house somewhere, like, within walking distance, I'm pretty sure. He did, and before you ask, we contacted this Silvano through a Ouija board. Yes. <sighs> it still makes me shiver. Um, and <clears throat> he told us there were three other spirits. I'm pretty sure there was five. Two good, three bad? Oh, yeah. There were five spirits, including Silvano. Including Silvano. He was one of the good ones. Yes. And so there were two good spirits in her house. Yes. And three evil spirits. Yes. And apparently the only reason we hadn't been completely decimated was because Silvano and this other one were apparently protecting us. And yes. we still don't know why. Yes. That was pretty much as far as we got before we s- tried the Estes method. Yes. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, the Estes method is full sensory deprivation, and um, so like white noise through headphones, you cover your eyes completely, you don't touch anything, and you just let the spirits. Yep. Yeah, the person who's not going under will ask questions, and the person who's under will listen in through the white noise, and will try to see if. The spirits are talking. Yes. We have tried this before. She got a good one. Yes. I didn't. Yeah. I got one of the evil ones to contact me. I don't know if it was, like, evil evil or just... I'm pretty... Didn't it say... Did it say... I know it said it wasn't human. Yes. It said it wasn't human. Wasn't it demonic? I think so i think it was demonic so that was really creepy that there was a demonic spirit in grace's house yes so that was the first time we tried communicating with spirits and then we i i had some experience when we were like not together me too for example uh we went out to eat for dinner with a bunch of my family and when i returned like uh, where we were watching Sam and Colby, there is, there's, like, this couch that has, like, a bunch of cushions and stuff that can, like, get moved around and stuff. It was completely decimated by the time I returned. And, like, I checked. It was completely fine when I, like, when we left. Completely fine. Couches, everything was put in place. When we returned, the entire couch and thing was totally decimated. Like, cushions and stuff were all over the place. Stuff like that. Yep. And also, another experience that I had was... I had marching band, and I have this chair in my room with, like, stuffed animals and blankets and, like, a painting. Yeah, all of that was, like, pushed down and scattered across my room. And before you ask, when she, the time she went out to dinner, everyone went with her. Everyone was, went with me. Her, I promise. My brothers, my parents, everything. There were no signs of a break-in. All the doors, windows locked, right? Yes. And you don't let anyone in your room? No. Like, no one goes into your bedroom unless it's me and we're having a sleepover? Yes. I had a couple experiences myself. Mine were a little more, one of them was a little more toned down than hers, but one of them. So, when we first replaced our carpet in my house, before you ask, we're best friends, we're not sisters. Yes. She has a boyfriend, and I'm single recently, been broken up with by a complete asshole, (laughs) um we're not gonna get into that but um at my house we had just replaced the the carpet because we had really old carpeting and it was nasty and we had it for like it 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 had been here 
since we moved into the house, which was over 10 years ago. Wow, I'm old. <laughs> um, and we, so we had just replaced the carpet and my older dog, he's smaller. He's a Jack Russell Chihuahua mix named Samwise Gamgee after Lord of the Rings. He's super sweet. He just loves to sit on your lap and lay on you and snuggle all day. But we, at the time, we weren't giving him enough attention to know when he needed to go outside. Um, he peed on the carpet, the new carpet, twice when we weren't, when people were home and we weren't paying attention to him. So... I came home from work one day. Well, my mom picked me up from work. I no longer work there. And she told me that, like, she had gotten me a Tim Hortons drink and everything. She told me we were going to have to rehome him. Oh my goodness, that time is not fun to talk about. Grace was one of the first people I called about taking him because we didn't want to give him to a shelter. Yes. Um... Luckily, after we called a bunch of people, luckily we were able to keep him. We use diapers and we don't let him upstairs unless there's a bunch of people up here. But we also use doggy diapers um, just to keep him from going on the floor at night. Um, but I called one of my friends and she told me she was going to get back to me with further details. She would have taken him had we not decided you know what we're gonna keep him try a little extra training so she would have been the one to take him and she called me at 11 45 at night i had been fast asleep and my phone started ringing and i answered the phone and she and i had a sh nice short conversation and i was not in my right mind and even though I wake I usually wake up in my right mind I believe that a spirit had tried taking over me because at 11 45 at night I miss once I hung up the phone something in my head just a, a voice in my head told me it was my alarm clock it said it's your alarm like something like that and um so i went and got in the shower then i came back in my room looked at the time realized it was like 11 45 at night and i was like what it gets worse Fi my alarm goes off 5 a.m or was it 5 30 i don't remember um i get in the shower again my mind is all hazy even though it's not usually hazy when I wake up, I took another shower. I didn't shower before work because my work, my job then was working at a pet shelter and it smelled incredibly disgusting and I was with animals all the time and so by the time I would get home, I would smell horrible and I would just have to take a shower. I personally believe, and you skeptics out there can call me crazy, I believe a ghost was trying to enter my mind or something because my mind was very hazy and a voice that was not the voice in my head. And I know that because I listen to the voice in my head a lot. Yes. Um, told me, was like speaking to me. And I still believe to this day that either something was trying to possess me or I had been possessed very slightly. My second home ghost encounter was in this room actually i was laying on this section of the floor here right around where i'm sitting now in my bedroom yes and i was on my phone playing a game like i was laying on my stomach playing a game or watching youtube shorts i don't remember this was a few days ago like this was at least a week a week or to a week and a half ago one of my light bulbs in my fan up here, because I have a ceiling fan, was flickering because it was probably running out or something, according to my mom. But my light bulb was flickering and it had been flickering on and off for a few days, for like a day or two. Like it would just 
randomly happen. Yeah. I looked up at the light bulb. I took the light bulb out because I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, I looked up at the flickering light bulb because it was one out of four. None of my other lights have gone off since. It was one light bulb out of the four. I looked up at it, annoyed with the flickering lights because I'd had an annoying day that day. And I said, can you stop? And it stopped. It stopped. Right when I asked it to. I was pretty freaked out. Um, some of you may say that's just a coincidence. Too crazy. Too on time. Yes. So, like, it was flickering. I go, can you stop? That happened. Yeah. And it started flickering again short later in that day. Um, and my mom told me to take the light bulb out because it could have triggered my dad's seizures. He hasn't had one in like 20 years at least, but I took it out anyway. None of my light bulbs have flickered. It was just that one. None of my light bulbs have flickered since I took that light out. And the most recent paranormal experience that we've had was, was an hour ago. Yes. We were downstairs. My entire family was down there. My parents, my sisters, most the of dogs. my- The dogs. At least one of the cats was down there. We heard thumping footsteps. Yes. Like, full-on actual thumping. It went- Stopped. Four thumps. It was done. Completely done for. We both heard it. I heard it, like, we were watching Sam and Colby, and it was, it was pretty loud, because, you know, my family was downstairs, and they were talking. Yes. So it was pretty, so I had it up a bit. I heard it, and I turned around. Like, it went thump, 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 thump. I went, what? And then you looked at me, like, did you hear that too? And I, like, yeah. Yeah. We both heard it. No, no one else in my family heard it. It was just the two of us who heard it. Yes. It was on my stairwell which is pretty close to my living room and like if everyone was downstairs <laughs> there was no one else upstairs because i have four people in my household <laughs> and the one cat that wasn't downstairs is not big enough to make thumps that loud like it was full-on foot like stomping footsteps and it was like, it scared the crap out of me. And I, so I heard it. One, two, three, four. Please tell me you heard that. I did. That's exactly how it happened. Yeah. And here we are. Yes. Something else that I keep experiencing is like random like scratches and stuff. I actually Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've been experiencing those for a very long time in my life. If you see, like, right there, that's one of the scratches they get. And, like, I notice them as soon as I wake up. Like, I go to bed, like, later than anyone else in my family goes to bed. And, like, I, I'm alone. Like, no one gets up at night. Nothing happens. She told me yesterday that... While we were in here, we- what were we doing? Like, I'm pretty sure you went to go get, like, ready for bed, and I saw, like, a silhouette of a person right outside your door. Oh, yeah, you did see that. I'm talking about, like, you and I were sitting here in the middle of the room. I don't remember what we were doing. Oh, I felt like a presence right over here. Oh, yeah, you felt a presence right here in the corner of my room, just sitting there watching us, standing there watching us. Yes, and, like, there was no cats. It was just the two of us. It was just us and the lizard in his cage over there. And, like, we were facing this way. It so, was like, over here. It was over there. I don't remember what we were doing. I'm pretty sure that we were, like, playing games or what. Weren't we, like, watching something? Oh, While yeah. having snacks and stuff? Yeah, I, uh, I was eating dinner, I brought up popcorn, we had some of my leftover Halloween candy, we were watching... Wasn't it Sam and Colby again? No. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching Sam and Colby again! And 
she felt like something was just sitting there watching us. So yes, last night we used our Ouija board to contact spirits. And we met Esmeralda. Yes. Who was the one who made my lights flicker. Yes. She admitted to it. Mm-hmm. And we met a no-name Native American who passed away, she said, 2,000 years ago. Yes. And she said that she watches us because when she's, she's bored. bored. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, if you're dead for 2,000 years, what else are you going to do? Yes. <laughs> like, but like, uh, so, while you were in the shower, I was doing like the Ouija board again some with like, as, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I texted, I like put it in the thing, uh, does someone oppose a threat? And they said yes. And they said yes. So we have reason to believe there are five spirits in her house and at least three in my house. Yes. Because they've been following us for a little while now. Yes. Like I said, the, the first time this started was a while ago. Yes. It was summer of 23, which is a few months ago. Like, this all started... Like, not too long ago. Not too long ago. And it was honestly really creepy. Like, we've been freaked out. We've been a little more obsessed with paranormal stuff. Oh, you know how I... So, I went to, like, Port Clinton that one time. Grandparents were ahead of me. I looked around. No one was there. I... So, I told you that, that like, we were on, like, this island checking things out. There was, like, a, like, little, like, hole with a dark, like, with darkness. Mm -hmm. And I saw someone or something peeking out of it. That's... <sighs> so, <laughs> before you ask if we use, if some of you are ever going to ask, how are we protecting ourselves against these spirits? We don't. They show up whenever they want to, and they haunt us whenever they want to. Yes. But... I have one, like, I have one, um, like, sort of myth type thing, legend, like, way of, form of protection, but it was because back when I was younger, for multiple years, I would have very bad recurring nightmares that were so awful. I'm not gonna get into them all that much because they really sucked. Have I told you about those before? I think so. They were so bad. They lasted for multiple years. It would start out as one one nightmare. That same nightmare would come to me for a couple months at a time at least before vanishing for a month or two. And then it would come back. It would be the same plot line, but it would be even worse than the one before it. And it got so bad. Like, I was afraid to go to sleep at night. I hated it so much. So we, my family, my dad, my mom, my sister, me, um, and a couple of my friends, we went down to this old village, this old Indian, like remade in Native American village called Sunwatch, where I got this. Ever since I bought this, my nightmares stopped. I haven't had my nightmares in years. So if we use like ancient legend methods of protection similar to this, it's for those of you who don't know this is a dream catcher. Um, it's meant to like catch nightmares and stuff, obviously like get rid of nightmares. So I know that these types of protection methods work. Personal experience. Personal experience. So um, if we ever need to use protection from spirits which we're probably going to need to if this channel progresses any farther yes um we know that those types of mythical legendary things work so something that i experienced like recently with like silvano and some of the other spirits is they uh flock to me for some reason and it's like when i am like trying to go to sleep 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. You told me multiple times. You said one touched you. Yes. One was watching you. Yes. One hugged you. Yes. And one, one hugged me just now, t- attempted to hug me just now today when we were like, I told you about this. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was last night before we went to bed. And um, one was jumping on your bed. You told me about this. Yeah, there was one that uh, I'm pretty sure was uh, not last night because I spent the night here, but the day before last night. Ugh. Ooh, the water fountain. Oh, the water fountain. So she goes to a school in Temperance, Michigan, and I go to a school in Toledo, Ohio. We live 20 minutes away from each other. I live in Toledo. It's right on the border of Michigan. So, I was, like, um, walking to the bus, like, leaving the school, um, and I saw, like, a water fountain going off, which I thought was strange because the water, like, coming from, like, the actual, like, water fountains itself, like, was turned off. You can put, like, your water bottles underneath, like, the thing to get water, but, like, the actual, like push to get water thing was like turned off there was no one around but her there was no one around but me the water fountain thing was going off and like i passed it it was still going off i turned around and when i turned around it just stopped i know that if when this comes out there's going to be a lot of skeptics about what we're talking about this isn't a joke. This like, is literally real experiences without equipment. No equipment, no nothing. The way we do the Estes method is through my personal computer, my headphones for school, and white noise. Obviously, white noise. White noise. And one of my sleep masks. Like, we have no we equipment. We have no equipment. We know hardly anything about paranormal investigation. And these things are happening to us. Exactly. Like, we did nothing for these spirits to target us, unlike Sam and Colby, who constantly taunt them. Yes. <laughs> like, we have done nothing. This was in our own homes. Yes. Like, it was mostly at her house. But then it started happening at my house, and I was, like, there are some, there, there is always going to be skeptics, there's always going to be haters. I'm telling you. The only reason we call ourselves amateur paranormal detectives are because we use a Ouija board and the Estes method. Even That's those it. are amateur. <laughs> like, we're just now starting this YouTube channel just to get out the fact that we have had paranormal experiences and that we're going to start investigating a little further. Yes. It's getting a little crazy, considering we were almost drowned multiple times. Yes. Like... Even just thinking about it, my chest is closing up. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm telling you, we aren't making this up. Because if we were, why would we post about it? There's something behind us. Excuse me? I feel a presence behind us. Let's not forget about when we're on a FaceTime call. Sorry, I know that she said something's behind us. I'm choosing to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> when we're on FaceTime calls, I use an iPad. She probably, I think you use your phone, right? Yes. Yeah, I use my iPad. For some of you who may know, iPad cameras tend to like refocus to follow you around if you're moving in and out of the frame of the camera. <clears throat> I will be in the camera and it goes the other direction. It'll start going into a direction where there's nothing there. It's creepy. Yes. And one last experience that I've had at home. This was the one experience I've told my parents about. My dad laughed at me for it because I got terrified. I was um, on a phone call with my now ex-boyfriend. No, ex, ex ex-boyfriend. Ex, ex, yeah, we broke up, got back together. Broke up again. I broke up with him the first time. He broke up with you the second time and broke your heart. Yeah. 
we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, he and I were on a FaceTime call, and because I'm a, I am going to get this out now, I'm a Christian. We both are Christians. We're both Christians. That's another re- Most Christians don't believe in ghosts because it's not something in the Bible. Yes. Hello? Hello? <laughs> we're Christians, and this is happening to us. Um... But he and I were getting into a, a pretty deep conversation about God and stuff. I'm not going to get into it because a lot of people don't like those types of things. Yeah. But um, I was just, he and I were sitting there talking about religion and God and Christian stuff. I was alone in my room. Like, my door was closed. My lights were off except for my one lamp I have on my desk up here. Everything else was turned off. I hear a tap, tap, tap on my window. My bedroom's on the second story. And it was outside my window. I hung up the phone politely and quickly. That was the one experience I told my parents about. And my dad laughed at me because I got terrified. Who wouldn't get terrified if you hear a... On your window talking about God and my room's on the second story of my house. <sighs> Something is touching me and I don't like it. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Okay. So as see, you can see, as you can see, we're not making this up. Yes. This is happening to us right now while we're talking about it. Yes. Like, we have nothing, no equipment, no investigational experience whatsoever. Scooch over. <laughs> like, we have nothing. We are just normal girls. That this stuff is happening to. Exactly. So, since this has been a recurring thing, that... <laughs> And just 40 minutes of us talking, we're going to get into the Estes method. Yes. Do you want to go under or do I want to go under? I don't know. You went under yesterday. Yes. This is the laptop we do it from. It's a Chromebook. 